Now that we understand the single swap rule, we're ready to see the method for dealing with case two. What do you do when the number four priority is not pointing into the page? Well, here's the method. Uh, so let's copy this method into your notes. If the priority four group is not pointing into the page, step one, swap the priority four group with a group that is pointing into the page. Step two, determine whether priorities one to two to three are arranged clockwise R or counterclockwise S on the page. Step three, the correct configuration of the original molecule is opposite to the configuration that we got from step two. Let's repeat that method. If the priority four group is not pointing into the page, step one, swap the priority four group with a group that is pointing into the page. Step two, determine whether priorities one to two to three are arranged clockwise, which is R, or counterclockwise S on the page. Step three, the correct configuration of the original molecule is opposite to the configuration from step two. Now would be a good time to pause the video and make sure that you have this method copied into your notes. Again, this is the method that we use when the priority four group is not pointing into the page. Now, what does it mean if the number four is not pointing into the page? Where could it be then? Well, it might be pointing out of the page or it might be pointing in the plane of the page. So there are really two different situations that we can handle with the same method. This is the method that you use if the number four priority is pointing out of the page. And this is also the method that you use if the number four priority is pointing in the plane of the page. Either of those would fall into this case. In both of those cases, the number four is definitely not pointing into the page. Now, this method should make some sense to you. Um, remember that in the official method for determining R and S, we are supposed to rotate the molecule until the number four priority is pointing away from us. So it makes sense that if the number four priority is not pointing away from us, our step one should be to swap the number four so that it is pointing into the page. So step one should make some sense. We need to swap the priority four with a group that is pointing into the page so that we can match up with the official method for determining R and S. Then we can determine whether groups one to two to three are arranged clockwise or counterclockwise on the page. Um, but remember that since you made a swap in that first step, the answer that you got from step two was not the configuration of the original molecule. The answer that you get from step two is the configuration after you make a swap. Well then, what was the configuration of the original molecule before you made the swap? Well, we know that now from having learned about the single swap rule. Um, since the original molecule differs from the molecule in step two by a single swap, they must have opposite configurations. So whatever answer, whatever configuration you got from step two, that must be opposite to what the configuration was before the swap. And that explains our step three. Again, the idea is uh, we swap the number four so that it's pointing away from us, consistent with the official method. We determine whether one to two to three are arranged clockwise R or counterclockwise S on the page. And then we remembered that the original molecule um, before step two, the original molecule before the swap must have a configuration that's opposite to the configuration after the swap. So the actual answer is opposite to the configuration we got from step two. This is step two right here. Let's work through some examples. Let's try to determine whether this stereo center is R or S. Uh, if you want, you can pause the video and give this a shot. Uh, but don't be surprised if you have a little bit of trouble because we haven't gone through the example together yet. Uh, we haven't gone through this systematic method together yet. Well, let's go through this example together. Now, the first thing we always have to do is assign the priorities. We can continue to put dots in to indicate the atoms that are directly connected to the stereo center. Of those four atoms, fluorine is the highest priority, number one. Oxygen has the number two priority, carbon has the number three priority, and hydrogen is the worst with the number four priority. Now we have to decide, are we in case one or case two? Is the number four priority pointing towards us or away from us? Well, here's the number four priority on the horizontal line. Remember our mnemonic, we imagine the horizontal line represents the bow tie, and the bow tie looks like wedges. 
So the horizontal line is pointing towards you, out of the page. So now we're in this case, the number four priority is not pointing into the page. Instead, of point, instead it's pointing out of the page. So we have to use this three-step method. Well, first of all, step one, we have to swap the priority four with the group that's pointing into the page. Well, the number three is pointing into the page here, so we can swap the four and the three. Or, if you wanted to, you could swap the four and the one. Either of those is fine. Um, you can swap the priority four with any group that's pointing into the page. So we could do either the three or the one. Well, let's go ahead and swap it with the three. So we've accomplished the swap. Notice that down here, where the number four used to be, we've inserted the number three. And up here, where the number three used to be, we've inserted the number four. One thing that um, is useful here is notice there's no need to actually redraw the molecule. There's no need to actually redraw the molecule so that the hydrogen is on top and the methyl group is on the left. All we have to swap are the priority numbers. That saves us a lot of time. We don't have to redraw the actual atoms. We can just swap the priority numbers. Put a three where the four used to be and a four where the three used to be. That's all it takes to accomplish step one. So when we do step one, all you have to do to make the swap is swap the numbers, not the actual groups. Now we're ready for step two. We should determine whether one to two to three are arranged clockwise or counterclockwise on the page. We'll have to go from one to two to three. We would go counterclockwise which is S. So now we've accomplished step two. We just finished step two. Notice that when we do step two, we should be using the priority numbers in their new positions. So we're basing um, this uh, ordering on where the number three is. Uh, we're basing uh, this, uh, um, this R or S decision based on where the number three is now. Now the number three is pointing out here to the left. Uh, we're not basing it on where the number three used to be. The whole point is to determine um, whether 1 to 2 to 3 are arranged clockwise or counterclockwise after you make the swap from step 1. All right, but, but this can't be the correct answer of the original molecule. Um, this is the configuration of this molecule after we make the swap. Well, what was the configuration of the original molecule before we made the swap? Well, we know that swapping always gives you the opposite configuration. So before we made the swap, the original configuration must have been R. So that's the answer to the question. The correct configuration at the original stereocenter is R. So that's what this step three means. The con correct configuration of the original molecule is opposite of the configuration that we got from this step two. The answer again is R. Well, let's review again the steps that we had to go through. Once we saw that the number four was not pointing into the page, step one was to swap the priority four with a group that was pointing into that was pointing into the page. And all we had to do that to do that, remember, was just swap the numbers, not redraw the molecule. Now, notice the notation that we're using here. It's a good idea to simply cross out your original numbers and write down the new numbers. Cross out the original numbers and write down the new numbers. Then step two, we wrote down the letter S because on the page, 1 to 2 to 3 were arranged counterclockwise. And then step three, we knew that our original answer was not correct. We know that before the swap, the configuration was opposite to what we got from step two. So we crossed out the letter S and wrote down the letter R. So I encourage you to follow this notation as well. I recommend that you actually write down a letter when you're doing step two. And then in step three, I recommend that you actually cross out that letter and write down a new letter. Just writing those extra steps down on paper makes us less likely to get confused. So notice that we have a couple of cases here where we write things down and then cross them out. We write down the original priorities, and then in step one, when we make the swap, we cross the original priorities out and write down new priorities. In step two, we write down the original R or S, and then in step three, we cross out the original letter and write down um, the opposite letter. So that's some good notation to use. As I mentioned before, the one part of this notation that you really don't need to use is these little arrows for determining whether the configuration is counterclockwise or clockwise. You can probably see whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise uh, in your head or just by moving um, your hands around. But I'm going to continue to write these arrows on the board uh, just to make it uh, even more obvious where we're getting our letters from. Now that we've been introduced to this method, uh, I think you can see that the good news is that this method is really going to take you hardly any longer than case one where the number four priority was pointing into the page. Even when the number four priority is not pointing into the page, there's a, only a couple of extra and very quick steps. 
Um, the only extra steps is that we have to cross out the original priorities and make a single swap of the priorities, and we have to cross out the original letter and replace it with another letter. But with practice, that shouldn't take you very much more time. Uh, it's certainly much more efficient and much less likely to lead to mistakes than trying to mentally rotate the molecule so that the number four will be pointing away from you.